I'm John Bowden with part one of a short series this time around with Bodine's co-founder, Kurt Newman. Of course, you know them from the hit song Closer to Free, which was the theme song to Party of Five. The brand new album is called For the Last Time. There'll be links in the description where you can pick it up. We'll also have links to the entire interview in the description of this video as well. In our first clip, how'd they get that band name? So, yeah, you know, Bare Naked Ladies. You know, names of bands at the beginning, people say, like, oh my God, it's sacrilege. You can't, you can't say that. And now people hear Bare Naked Ladies and they think of Bare Naked Ladies. They think of the band. They don't think of Bare Naked Ladies ever. Um, right. What was the thought process of going with Jethro? Well, first time I thought of Bodine's, I thought of Bo Diddley and James Dean. So it was a combination of two names that I thought represented rock and roll and that rock and roll image. So it made sense to me. I didn't, I didn't think of Jethro Bodine off the start because I didn't really know that show as well. But um, my Bo Diddley and James Dean, I did know. And I thought, well, that's a cool rock and roll image. So it made sense. When did you... And I find artists sometimes have a hard time doing that the right way. Tell me about, you just getting up in a zone when you're right. Like, tell me about that. Um, well, for me as a kid, like, and teenager and stuff growing up, uh, music was a place I would escape to from the real world kind of. And it was so intense that when a music, when a song would fade out, I always felt like it was going away from me and I couldn't go with it. And I wanted to go with it. Like I was really drawn into the music in a very personal way. And I think it was the atmosphere of those songs that drew me in like that. So I probably picked that up from the music I was listening to. And, and it's important to me to that there, a real mood is happening, that there's some kind of, atmosphere that you feel is going on while the while the song is playing while i'm singing to you or whatever is happening that uh there's that general feeling of something you can almost fall into and i i feel like that's might be where i picked up for and that's why i i got good at it because i just experimented till i was able to do it myself you know in radio we have this thing where we used to say uh, in a generic thing in radio is a lot of people radio announcers can't talk about themselves they, they, they think they're really good and they've got everything down. But when it comes to talking about themselves, their insecurities come out. Mm -hmm. And there's that thing that you have the, um, uh, the capacity, like, like anyone but you, for instance. To me, that has such a, like, I'm going, oh, this is like haunting. Yeah. Like, let's start there. T tell me about that tune. Yeah, I felt the same way. I just wanted, I just wanted a musical piece that had wide open space in it. You know, and you go from this wide open space to this just bombard of big chorus that just hits you like a wave would hit you in the ocean kind of. But I love the open space about it. And I love just the simplicity of the beat and the starkness of that melody. It just, to me, it just drew me in to that place of isolation and that perspective of that song, you know, um, you're 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 part of this society but sometimes we're so in our own point of view on it you know that you wonder what other people are thinking and stuff and 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 that's kind of what i felt when i was writing that song it's it's very much from one person's point of view of seeing the world and yeah it's about kind of retrospect looking back missing someone and things like that but it's more to me it was more about that feeling of isolation um as well you know the music of that piece to me is is i like just as much as what i'm singing about and so um i that's one of my favorite tracks on the record too i i just love it with this album what what was the trajectory like what was the impetus how long did it take for you to, to get this together well i've been writing songs for a netflix show called the ranch for they had eight seasons and the producers were big fans of the band so they let me write a ton of music of which they put a bunch of it into their show. And uh, so I was just constantly writing and recording, writing and recording like a lot in the 2016 through 2018 kind of phase. And um, I built up a lot of these songs and through the last several records, I've been able to get a lot of them out. So some of these songs are a couple of years old. One of them loved is, is about 15 to 20 years old. Gorgeous like, song, by the way, gorgeous like, piece of music. Very, very little. And um 
it, when they were little, it, it, it made me realize a lot about my own childhood. And so I wrote that song and um, it was never quite right to release. So anyways, I kind of went at it again for this record. So some of the songs are pretty old. Some of them are relatively new, but um, I've been trying to get them out for a couple of years now, it's just the pandemic put it all off for a while. So now I was able to finally get them out. I'm not going to leave you stumbling in the dark. I love that. I like that. You know, the most simplistic yeah. lines sometimes are the most poignant lines. Yeah. That well, which was my case. My, my mom put me in school when I was four years old. I didn't know how to read or write or anything. And so I, from that point on through my entire life, I was kind of trying to like figure out workarounds and how to get through this system and stuff like that. And I just wanted my kids to not have to deal with that, you know, that knew that they had a support system there for them. But so that's where that idea came from. Hope you enjoyed that. This is a four parter in the entire interview, by the way, is on our sister site right now, rock history book. There are links in the description where you can check it out. Remember, if you want to support the channel, the two P's Patreon, you'll get early access. We have lots of stuff on there now to all our videos. As well, if you want to make a donation to Rock History Music, there's a PayPal link in the description as well. Make sure you comment on our videos. We love reading the comments. Subscribe to Rock History Music. Share our videos on social media. And of course, like our videos. It makes a big difference. This is John Bowden, and this is Rock History Music.